gonna show you how to do these custom trays because I've been getting a lot of requests and a lot of comments on a few people that was interested and want to know how to do layers. So uh, today I'm gonna show you how to layer a tray, but you can use a car, you can use a computer, uh, a book. You can pretty much lay any decal on anything. So yeah, today I'm gonna do a, a Houston's tray. Well, uh, Astros, not really Houston's, but the Astros tray. I have the Rockets. I have the Cowboys. The Cowboys. And I have the famous Lakers. So yeah, the first thing I did with these trays uh, first, this is where you can find these trays. You can find these trays at any Dollar Tree. They originally got some metal trays that's at the Dollar Tree. Unfortunately, they sold out. You can look on eBay looking for them. They got a pack of 50 for like $160 or something like that. Me, I, ain't, I wasn't trying to do all that. I'm trying to start small, see if I could sell a few first and see how it turns out. Like I said, this is my first time. These trays that you just seen are all my first time trays. I've never done this before all of these are first time but uh yeah so today what i'm gonna be doing is uh i'm gonna recreate some of them i ain't gonna recreate all of them of course but uh i'll lay my houston rockets one another houston rockets one just to show you how i lay it because it was two layers and this is fairly simple if anybody want to you know learn simple this is like super simple like i said this you could do this on cars books notebooks computer notebooks like it doesn't matter anything that you can stick a surface to this could work for it you know what i'm saying so yeah so i'm gonna do a houston rockets one and then i'm gonna get into doing the astros one again you can get these trays at any dollar tree for a dollar only thing i did was spray paint the back of it you can spray paint or uh get some paint and paint them i find out spray paint them makes it a little bit quicker you know and once you spray paint it, as you can see on this one, I don't know if you can see the little background here. You got little pineapples and watermelons and stuff, which I'm gonna go around and correct that a little bit more. This is just a quick little demo because I've had a few people ask me how I do this. So I just want to put a video out there to let them know how I do this. By the way, I'm also at work right now. That's why I don't have all my supplies with me, but I do have a few things with me to show you how to layer these two that I'm gonna do and just show you how easy they could be. All right. Also, I have another tray here that I've customized for a coworker of mine. So this is also another thing that I'm doing. This is the exact same tray. I just, I did a, a, I sprayed it gray first to get a nice little primer on it. And then I painted it black, painted the trim black. And then I, I have uh, some special sticker paper, photo sticker paper for stickers. And uh, I printed the picture on it and I just stuck it to the tray. Uh, like I said, I painted the side, stuck the picture on, and then I epoxied it. So that, that's what the shininess that you see on this image is very shiny because it's, it's dipped and wrapped in epoxy. So once it's completely cured, which it takes three days to cure, this right here will be extremely hard. So right now it is, it is solid. It's just, it hasn't cured for the full three days yet. Like I, I just did this last night. So my coworker's on the way to come pick it up now. It's a birthday gift for a sister. But yeah, I'm finna get into it. Next, I'm gonna show you my supplies that you're gonna need to apply any of these decals to these to, you know, make it work. Cause you gotta have some type of supplies. So we scratched that one off our list. You got your trays, boom, dollar. You got some spray paint, boom, Walmart, $4. Uh, spray paint all your trays, boom. Right now you already $5 in and you got one tray, you feel me? Next, of course you wanna find the image and cut an image, which I already got images cut, but I, I'ma put a description below on other videos that, that I could you know, show you me cutting, finding my artwork and actually cutting it. And uh, I show the weeding process and everything that you need to know to actually get to this point of actually making a tray. Now I'ma reach over here and get some decals that I already got cut out and show you what they look like okay I'm back okay so I grabbed my stencils 
this this is few. Hopefully you can see these. I got a little rig here. Set my camera up. That's the Lakers. That's the one that you just seen over there. Let me show you the Rockets. Rockets, fairly simple. This is my background for it. And this is the front of it. So basically, it's a two-color job. I'm just going to lay this right on top. And then boom. I'm done. This is what you'll get. So that's that. Uh, this is what you're going to also need is some transfer tape. This right here, uh, to transfer the image from this paper to the trays. Uh, you can pick up some of this transfer tape at Hobby Lobby, Michaels. Me, I go to a special vinyl shop. I'm here in Houston. Uh, I got a few different vinyl shops down here that I go to. Join Us is one of them. Uh, SK Houston, they also have it. Uh, there's another one, uh, Avani, they have it. They're right down the street from SK, they're on Harwin. Uh, you can always Google them, check them out, holla at them. Uh, they'll, they'll get you squared away. Uh, I think this little roll I got from Joiners is closer to my house. I think this one right here was like $12, and the, which that was nothing. Uh, it comes in a pretty thick roll. I don't know if you can see that. And this roll is fairly new. Uh, I've wrapped a few vehicles with this, so it's not 100% new, but I do have enough to do all these trays and Believe it or not, once I cut the length of the image on my transfer paper, I have enough to do all of these with just one sheet, so I don't just have to keep using this whole roll. Uh, right now, I gotta put this on pause because uh, I don't have a knife or scissors to cut my transfer tape. So I'm gonna go see if someone could let me borrow some scissors. And I will come back and we will get to land this tray. And yeah, we'll get to laying this tray. I'll be back in a split second. Okay, bam, I'm back. Got the scissors. Thanks to the security who gave me the scissors. Cause I needed it, which he cool. He was in the knock the hell out. But hey, I ain't a supervisor, so I ain't, I ain't saying nothing. Boom, so what you first wanna do is cut your image a little bit smaller. So I'm just cutting out the extra paper. I don't really necessarily need this. I mean, what I do is I just store it in my little vinyl wrap here. I just put it there. All right, get my other end of my Houston. Right, let me clear this so you can get a, a better visual of what I'm doing. Pull my camera back a little bit. Okay. Hopefully you can see this a little bit better. Okay, what I'm doing now is just cutting off the extra, extra paper. You don't necessarily need it. You can keep it on, it doesn't matter. Me, I tend to take mine off so I can know exactly how much transfer tape I'm using. Okay, something clear. I'm going to get this, put it down. Uh, you want to get you a new tray. Let me see if I got any trays over here. Which I do. Here's a tray here. First thing you want to do is, of course, spray it, clean out all the gunk and anything that's collected inside of it. That's me, I just give it a good wipe down. Get any little bugs that flew in it, get them off. Because at the end of the day, it don't have to be perfect, but you can always fix and correct anything. And all these trays that you've seen will get the epoxy coated, just like the one that has the photo in it. So, and there's, it's unlimited to what I can do with these. I can always put James Harden, Russell Westbrook, any of the basketball players i could take it old school and put the old team of rockets in it or the astros or the lakers or any team you want you can actually put their face in these trays with this so the possibilities are just limitless like you could do so many things but yeah right now i stick my art up in the, in the tray just to see what it'll look like from edge to edge which i already know it's fairly long enough than my image so I will have it lapped up a little bit, just like on this one. Let me show you. Okay, with this one, you see how it's lapped up on the wall right here? Which that's not a problem. And up here at the top, it's lapped up on the wall. And at the bottom, of course, it's lapped up. Which that's not a problem. Uh, it doesn't really take away from the art itself. It kind of, you know, creates it and makes it a little bit better, in my opinion. Uh, I haven't had anyone to say otherwise or say, oh, it's wrong or it's crazy or it looks funny or it looks off. Everyone so far has been supporting me. They kind of like it. It kind of caught them off guard that I'll be doing something like this, which it caught me off guard too, but hey, 
I just want to step away from just doing shirts and you know do something a little bit different because at the end of the day it's always about growing all right so you get your transfer tape me I'm gonna start here put it on this image here I can already tell you now I'm having problems let me pull that back off let me try it again because you want your your tape to lay on pretty smooth Pretty smooth. Hopefully you can see this. What I'm doing now is just laying it. Get my handy dandy security scissors and cut this tape. Cut, 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 cut. Okay. Not the best cut, but hey, these scissors are a little dull, but hey, they work. Also, I use these scissors to just do a quick little rub down on the tape. Just so your image can stick and adhere to it. I just do this a few times. Air bubbles in the paper, don't worry about it. If you're not covering your full image, don't worry about it. Only ones that you have to worry about is if it was in pieces and parts. Unfortunately, this is not in pieces and parts. It's just one big piece. Okay, next you grab your tray. I'm gonna try to do this as best as I can because this does take time and, and patience. Okay, from here, you just peel your image off from your paper just like this boom you'll have it on your transfer paper okay wind is a factor out here but it's okay okay now from here I say you got to be a good eye of judgment because you got to be able to use it to know exactly where you want to lay it because once you stick this it can come up but you don't have too many times to stick it and place it stick it and place it stick it and place it so what I do is hold my fingers like this Hopefully you can see this on both ends of the paper. Come down, find approximately where I want it. Try to make it as straight to the eye. Now I have to turn this a little bit to do it to my eye, not to your eye. And lay this about as even as I could get it. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, boom, that's that's me laying it on there. So it's actually on. Now I'm just gonna press to lay it all down. I start in the middle first and then work my way out. Which that's not a problem which way you do it. I just prefer to start in the middle. Start in the middle of the image. Okay, smooth it all out. Make sure it's on there pretty good. And then boom, tear off your transport tape. Now, some say go slow. Me, I tend to go slow because you don't want your image to come back up. Especially if you were doing small little images or little pieces, you don't want to just tear this paper away because it'll take that image right back up. So it's down, and boom, there's the ending results. You have it on the tray. I do have a few air pockets, which that's not a big issue. You just get your little weeding tool, poke a little hole in it, and you just press it down, no problem. But later, me, I'm gonna get a heat gun, put a little heat to it, get a credit card, and smooth it out, and no problem, all done. Okay, next. We're gonna get the actual logo. And that was the background. This is the front piece. I'm gonna do the same thing, just lay it right on top of my image. Make sure it's fairly smooth, no bubbles. Get your card. Me, I'm gonna use my scissors and just rub over your image. I'm trying to do this quick. I don't want a long video on y'all. Y'all just sit up and watch someone just talk. Yeah, just do this quick. Rub your image across it. Make sure it sticks real good. Again, peel it from the paper. I like to do it slow. You see how this end came up? I don't know if you can see it, how the end come up a little bit right here, but it's okay. Just push that down. And just slowly peel it off. Boom. Peel it off. You can start the old paper. You get your tray. I'm gonna turn my tray a little bit so I can see it, making sure it's straight. And, uh, find the best placement that you want to put it in this situation I can't really do no wrong because it's right in the middle okay you see I stuck the middle first see the middle stuck first and now I'm just slowly laying down the sides because I'm trying to avoid big air bubbles which big air bubbles is not an issue you can always push and press them out later you know all right now from here just slowly remove see when I say slowly remove you see how I start taking my H with me Start taking an H. So now you want to press that H back down. Press, matter of fact, press it all down just so you can make sure and guarantee that it's down. So 
gotta press the whole image. Not a lot of pressure, just enough to get it stuck. Okay, now we're gonna remove it. Coming out fairly easy. Not applying a lot of pressure to it. And before you know it, you'll have a finished tray of the Houston Rockets or whoever of your choice. And you still have paper that you can still use for any other design. Me, I just stick the paper right back on the transfer sheet and just stick it down and I can reuse it for later. Just get another piece of this paper that I had from the first background and just boom. Stick your paper to it, boom. I can use this paper later, no problem. And I can use that for any other trait. Okay, let's see if I could get into the next one for y'all. The next one will be a three layer, which it is the Astros. But let me compare these two for you to show you. This is the one I did the other day, which in my opinion is not too bad. This is the other day, and this is now. Which it turned out pretty good, which this is really not hard, it's just two colors. The next one could be a little bit difficult because it's three colors. But yeah, overall, I think they turned out great. Like They turned out perfect. Nice and centered. All right, but let's get into this next one. All right, y'all, we back. Next, we got our next tray. We cleaned it off, it's already ready. We have all of our decals ready to be laid. I have my first color, which is black. My next color I'll put down will be orange. See, those little pieces, those could be your problem pieces if you peel away that transfer paper too fast. But we're gonna take our time with it, not too much time. We're gonna try to speed this one up a little bit faster. I'm gonna try to do a little less talking and a little bit more quick working because I have trains coming through and I don't want a train to interrupt this, this video. But yeah, here's the H, which that's gonna be the final color. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is of course cut my image down to my size that I like. Scrap the excess paper. Just cut your image down. Again, it ain't gotta be perfect. It's best to do this indoors because out, outside here at work, I tend to have wind issues. But it's okay, if you're at home, you wanna have that and you should have enough time to be patient. Because this is a patient game. If you move a little bit too fast, you're more liable to make a mistake, which I've made plenty of mistakes, but these are only practice trades, so a mistake on my end is not too bad. I think I can handle it. Okay, line your image up. See that I, I laid it down too fast. This, this paper is unforgiving. Once it lays down, it is stuck. Not super stuck. Okay, what you want to do is lay it down. Get out as much air bubbles as you can. And I, I pressed it with my hand, so it should be nice and sticky. But I'm going to go back over it again. Just with my hand. If you can see these air bubbles here, which that's fine. It don't have to be perfect. You just mainly want to pick up your image. And I believe I got enough to pick up my image. I'm gonna run my finger across it just to make sure. Get my tree. Okay, yeah, that's why you gotta stick it real good so it can come off on the transfer paper. Okay, remove the image from the paper. Start the old paper. Grab the image on both sides. See the wind is a factor here. I don't know if you can see the wind's blowing my image. So from here, I'm just gonna eyeball where I wanna position it. Start in the center. Work your way out. Boom, I have it laid. Press it down real good, so you don't want it coming off. Let's remove this transfer tape paper. Transfer tape, transfer paper, same thing. Okay, as you can see, I got air bubbles, which 
that's really not a big concern. The only thing you gotta do is just poke a little hole and just poke them out. That's normally what I do, I push them out. I say poke them out, excuse me. But yeah, just pretty much just push them out. Poke a hole, push them out, no problem. You can actually peel it back up and relay it. I'm not gonna do that. I think it really doesn't cause for that. But yeah. So I'm not gonna poke out these holes. I'm just gonna move on to the next piece just so I can make this video fairly short. It's already long enough as it is. So let me just get to it. Get your next image, which will be my orange here. Rub it down real good. Rub all your pieces down because you want your transfer tape to get it. Now I've used this one piece of sheet to do the four trays, five trays that I have, four trays, and uh, the paper worked every time. Only problem is, is each time you do it, it get less sticky, less sticky. But normally if I'm at home, I put it under my heat press for a minute, it turns right back sticky. And uh, I could just keep using the same sheet over and over. Okay, from here, we we'll slowly peel this one off. Hopefully everything comes off and it does. Start your old. Okay. Now here, it can be a little tricky. What I want to do is line up the front of the H to where it should go. And then I line up the bottom where it needs to go. It could be a little tricky, but at the end of the day, everything's about eyeballing. So if I eyeball it, it looks about right right there, but I don't think it is. And look, see, the paper's already stuck, and it's unforgiving once you stick it. So I'm going to go ahead and just lay it down. It don't have to be perfect. It is what it is. This is just to show you that this paper is unforgiving. Once you lay it, it it's not too much of recovering it to fix it. So boom, I have it laid. Now I'm peeling. Okay, that's what we got so far. Don't mind air bubbles, they're all right. They'll be pushed out later. But as you can tell, right here on this side, there's no black. You can't see any black through it because this side was up a little bit higher. And over here on this side, it's a little bit thinner. Or you can see a little black in the back and I have this big, nice piece of black. But overall, it's still okay. I might say hell. It's not gonna take, make the image ugly. It's not it's just gonna be an ugly piece of artwork when you're done. It'll still be pretty unique. So now what I do here is get the last image, which is the H, my white color. Press all the ends down. Remove it from the carrier sheet. Get your image. I'm outside fighting the wind still. I hold it on both ends. And this is where the super tricky part come in because you're working with three colors. So you want to pretty much lay this almost perfect. As perfect as you can get it. Like I said, I'm out here fighting the wind, so I can't lay this a guarantee perfect that I want to lay it. But I'm going to get pretty close. I'm going to get satisfied. Okay. Remember, my image was up a little bit high. But you know, I ain't, I ain't worried about it. When H time folks see it, uh, they ain't worried about it. At the end of the day, you still got your design. Which, of course, if I was at home and not fighting the wind, I would have done this perfect. And had no problems. I just wanted to put a video out there because I had a couple requests from a few a few followers. They said that they wanted me to do a layer, so it's just show them how to lay. And you know, it's, it's fairly simple, not the hardest. Now, the only thing I have to do is just take out the air bubbles, which I could do that later when I get home, and it'll be just as perfect as the other one. Only issue is, of course, I laid it up a little too high on, on this end and on this end, but overall, right here as well. Overall, it's not too bad. I can still put a nice background to this and still sell it. Now you can sell these for as much as you want to sell them. Me, my sale point for these will be 20 bucks. I might do a few of them for 25. It depends on the extra details that I put in them. But uh, yeah, like I said, it only costs you a, a dollar to get the tray, four dollars to get the spray paint, maybe a dollar to get each color sheet that you need. In this case, I got three colors. So it, it's, that's $3 right there. Uh, the epoxy that you put on it, 
that's gonna cost you a few dollars. I can't get exact numbers on those because every price is a little different for people. But for me, each color is a dollar. Uh, I get a nice little sheet for a dollar and I could probably do two trays for a dollar. So at the end of the day, if I sell them 25 a piece, I still have a nice chunk of profit. At the end of selling both of them, that's 50 bucks. So do the, you do that. The epoxy, the epoxy cost me between 20 to $35, which that's not bad as well. Cause I might say I could do up to maybe 10 to 15 trays off the container of epoxy that I get. So you tend to make your money on that area. But yeah, it's pretty much whatever color you decide. I'm gonna pick up the camera and show y'all. Pretty much whatever color you decide. This right here was a three color job. And it was fairly, fairly hard, especially doing it outside. It was extremely hard. And then I have the Cowboys here, which is another three, three layer cover color was extremely hard as well but overall the lakers here was hard because i said this was three layer three colors it's not three colors this is actually four colors i have my black as my bottom i have my white as on top of it i have my yellow and then i have my purple which this one right here was the most complicated one of me doing especially being outside and actually working while doing this you know but yeah, I just wanted to show a, a video on how to lay and how to create something out of nothing. This is a DIY. Do it yourself. Make some money. Get out here, especially at these crazy times. Every little dollar, every piece of change counts. Like I said, I just did this one. I'm doing photos and it turned out great. Let me get a big picture of it. It turned out perfect. She's going to love it. These trays, you can use these for picture frames. You can roll tobacco on it. You could just put it on a tray and put a nice candle around it. Like, they're just decorative pieces. I know people see these trays and be like, oh, they're marijuana trays, which they could be used for that. This is pretty much where the idea came from. Me seeing the marijuana trays and they want to do something different than just the regular marijuana trays. But you could do tobacco, it doesn't matter. It don't have to be marijuana. You could probably do cocaine on this thing. I ain't trying to get into that, all them drugs, but I'm just saying, this is just a tray that's something different that I want to jump in to see how it sells. And so far, the selling point for these are pretty good. I haven't, I haven't made many sales on it because I've just started it. I'm less than a week into it. But this is actually my first sale and it's pretty good, so. I have a few other people that's interested in the other ones that I have. I haven't actually sold it to them because these were just samples and I have other ideas of what I want to do to it. I want to put, you know, the quarterback face right here, you know, the whole lineman face, put them all around it. I think that'll bring a little bit more style to it. And like I said, these, these could be collector's items. They just whatever, you know, perfect for gifts as she's going to give this to her sister. And yeah, so you can make it happen down below in the description i'll put links to where i got everything uh, also like subscribe please subscribe I, I need the i need the followers need to get these diys and these entrepreneurs out here on, on something new and if you want to try something new this is perfect for you that's fairly cheap could be done for cheap also i didn't put this in there the paint that i use to paint this i got it for 50 cent from walmart boom so everything is fairly cheap you know, you could do this cheap, 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 cheap. But yeah, I'm going to end this right here. Y'all have a good day. Stay safe. Like, follow, subscribe, share. Holla at your boy, the Hustle Hunter. And before I go, I'm going to show you my new business cards that I have. Bam. The narrow shirts. Don't mind that long nail right there. Bam. The narrow shirts. That is my business. You can Facebook, Instagram me. This is my card. So if you need anything, let your boy know. The Hustle Hunter. Motivated to hustle. Dedicated to the hunter. Already.